Energy of Phoenix Suns fans is the best story of the NBA postseason. Devin Booker would like a word with the Suns in four, guy. Suns rising at the right time, roar into conference finals. The Phoenix Suns are the second best story of the postseason. They have won seven consecutive playoff games. Their closest margin of victory was Sunday's 125-118 win over the Nuggets, a game that never felt in jeopardy. Their surging playoff status ranks only behind you, the growing army of Suns fans in Arizona, a rabbit contingent tilting the machine. You are the Cinderella story of the NBA postseason. Halfway to a championship, and home games at Phoenix Suns Arena have become merciless on the ears of the opponents. The crowd is young, diverse and eager to contribute. The energy is even better than the noise. We are witnessing a confluence of landmark events in Phoenix, the release of pent-up energy from pandemic isolation. A fire that has been growing around this team since their 8-0 bubble performance in Orlando, the stunning off-season acquisitions of Chris Paul and Jay Crowder, the much-needed maturation of DeAndre Ayton, and a renovated arena perfectly appointed to serve a people-watching, celeb-obsessed kind of town. The cumulative effect is exhilarating. We've seen four young boys go viral in the crescendo of a Tory Craig dunk. We embrace the brave lad who so identified with these sons that he went to war with his shirt during a raucous timeout while cameras scanned the crowd, exposing his tender torso to the world because his basketball team made him strong. Chris Paul was watching and couldn't believe his eyes. Just like Aiden's reaction to the coming home party Suns fans staged after the demolition in Denver, sweeps are impact statements. They put an entire postseason on notice. And over two road games in Denver, Valley fans flipped the script entirely, filling another team's arena with hostile Suns fans. They preyed on a weak opponent and a soft market, in a city that was fast losing hope. We all know the feeling. It is the bane of our sporting existence. We are famous for surrendering our largest stadiums without much resistance. Too often, our major franchises make us docile and detached. But not anymore. Over the weekend, our weakness became a strength. Suns fans hit the road just to make a stand. One of them became an instant legend. This is not meant to glorify violence. But the Nuggets fans won first. And the guy in the Suns jersey who fought with an alarming combination of force and chill not only delivered a tagline for the ages, he seemed to symbolize this entire journey. These sons will not be sucker punched from the playoffs. Not by a Nuggets fan throwing a hidden haymaker from higher ground. Not by a fluke injury to Chris Paul in the opening moments of the 2021 playoffs. Not by David Stern, Robert Horry or John Paxson. Not by anything. Not yet. Devin Booker would like to get in touch with the Phoenix Suns fan who went viral Friday for, first, getting in a fight with a pair of Denver Nuggets fans and, then, telling those fans Suns in four. It is possible the Suns shooting guard wants to tell the man that it's no good getting in fist fights, though the Denver Police Department told Tar News 92.3 FM on Monday that there were no arrests made in the incident. The party involved did not want to pursue charges, a spokesperson said. Perhaps Booker wants to ask how the man was so prophetic calling the series sweep during Game 3 on Friday. Or maybe Booker was going to thank him for being such a believer in this Suns team. Need man's info, Booker tweeted on Monday after Phoenix ended the Nuggets season with a 125-118 win in Game 4. The Suns fan Booker was hoping to connect with went viral shortly after Game 3 single quote as Suns win. He was seen on video responding to a Denver fan attempting to punch him by grabbing the Nuggets fan's jersey and landing several punches. Twitter user at CBJ3000, who took a video of the fight, said the Nuggets fans were upset that the Phoenix man told them, Suns in four, adding that they dumped beer and exchanged words with the Suns fan before the punches were thrown. As the Denver fans eventually attempted to leave, the Suns fan repeated himself, Suns in four, as cameras caught him closing the altercation with a prediction. That prediction turned out to be correct. Phoenix advanced to the Western Conference Finals on Sunday with a victory at Ball Area. 
Kroke Sports, which owns the Nuggets, referred local Denver stations about the situation to the Denver Police Department. What was he thinking? The Suns hadn't been to the playoffs in a decade. The West was stacked. I look like a genius, huh? Crad Crowder, who took his talents to the Suns after helping Miami reach the NBA Finals last season. I knew the type of group these guys were. I felt like they were hungry. They wanted to do some special things and I wanted to be a part of it. Behind the brilliant basscourt of Chris Paul and Devin Booker and steady contributions from the likes of Crowder, the Suns are roaring into the Western Conference Finals for the first time since 2010. The last year they reached the postseason. The Suns completed a four-game sweep of the shorthanded Denver Nuggets with a 125-118 win Sunday night in a testy game in which MVP Nikola Jokic was ejected in the third quarter for a flagrant foul. On Cameron Payne. It was the seventh straight win for Phoenix, the longest playoff winning streak in team history. After bouncing LeBron James and the defending champion Lakers in six games during the first round, the Suns made even quicker work of Jokic and the Nuggets. Now, they get to rest up before playing either top-seeded Utah or the Los Angeles Clippers. The Jazz lead that series 2-1 heading into Game 4 on Monday night in Los Angeles. Phoenix was 1-2 against the Clippers in the regular season and 3-0 against the Jazz. Everybody at this point is banged up and can use that kind of recovery, Phoenix coach Monty Williams said. We earned it and we want to take advantage of it. But right now, I'm not even thinking about that. I'm just happy about what these guys have accomplished. Crowder has become quite a postseason catalyst, with his teams going 22-9 over his last 31 playoff games. Before the 2020 season, his teams were 20-31 in playoff games. Very impressive how locked in we are as a unit, Crowder said. We have great leadership. We have great coaching putting us in a position to succeed right now. I definitely feel like we're connected as a group and it shows. Right after the final horn, Paul and Booker, who combined for 71 points, made their way through the post-series handshakes and hugs near the Nuggets logo. Waiting on the side was Williams. He shared a heartfelt embrace with each one. Williams is tight with Paul, from their coach guard time together in New Orleans. They have a strong bond away from the court, too, and Paul was there for Williams when Williams lost his wife from injuries in a car accident in 2016. Monty has been through things in his life that a lot of people don't necessarily come back from, said Paul, who scored 13 of his 37 points in the fourth quarter. Basketball aside, he means so much to me and my family. So to be on this journey with him and to see it paying off is nice. We're a lot alike. We stay locked in. I don't feel good until the buzzer sounds. Monty's the same way. When the series is over, and the game is over, it's nice to share those moments. The last time the Suns were this far was 2010 behind a cast that included the likes of Amar Single Quote Studemeyer, Steve Nash, Jason Richardson and Grant Hill. They fell to Kobe Bryant and the Los Angeles Lakers 4-2. The emotions are happy, grateful, tired, relieved, Williams said of advancing to the conference finals. It's one of those moments for me that quite frankly I never thought I'd have a chance to experience. For me, I have a level of gratitude I can't even explain. To share it with Paul means that much more. Chris has meant so much to my career, he's meant so much to my life, Williams said. The darkest moment of my life Chris was right there and one of the highlights of my career, he's right there. That's where it is right now. I'm not really good at waxing eloquent about how I feel other than just telling you I just feel grateful for this opportunity and to be on this team and in this moment and have a chance to move forward.